Uh, Mikel, was the disallowed goal the turning point? We don't know, but there was still a, a long game uh, ahead of that action. Um, that obviously looks very soft on TV. But after that, I think um, even conceding the goal, we were completely dominant. We were in charge of the game. We were arriving. We had chance after chance. We didn't materialize. And when the best moment that we had, we give the ball away in a really dangerous area against them. And when that happens in open spaces, um, they hurt you. Yeah, at that point, more possession, more chances. If, if you go in front and it's given, do we see a different game? For me, that was like the game was in our hands. The, world were, the game was there for the take, and I had that feeling. And I said to the boys, even at halftime, and uh, we continue to play the way we want to play. And um, in another day, when you are much more efficient in front of goal, you win the game. Mikel, it's been a fantastic start to the season. Five wins out of five. Does today change anything in terms of expectation? No, make them give them more belief to the players that they can come to this stadium against this World Cup players, and they can play the way they can play. How do you get that message across? That, all right, you leave with, without a point. And I, actually, if you I look already, at the game, I already told them we 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 lost the game because we lack discipline today. In certain moments, when you have to open. Yeah, defend open spaces and, and in one or two action where you need to understand what your role is in that area of the pitch, we didn't do it. That's why we lost. So for Arsenal fans watching around the world tonight, that the message is actually it's a defeat, but there's plenty of positives. Well, we are disappointed, especially because after watching what that, the team doesn't merit to lose the game. But we lack that discipline that against these players, they absolutely kill you.